welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. It says several people in the Bible are said to be, quote, filled with the Holy Spirit. We're told the Holy Spirit lives within us when we accept Christ. Are there different amounts of the Holy Spirit? This is a really insightful question. And per the question, it states that when we get saved, when we believe on Jesus Christ, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20, that the Holy Spirit resides within each and every one of us. Allow me to answer this question very casually, and then I'll address it very biblically and formally. When you got saved, when I got saved, I got all the Holy Spirit I'm ever going to get. The question is, how much of me does the Holy Spirit have? Allow me to illustrate. At the end of the Gospel of John, whom we know as the apostles, well, minus Judas, that thing went completely sideways, but the apostles, Jesus breathes on them, and according to the biblical record, they receive the Holy Spirit. That's that 1 Corinthians 6, 19, and 20 event in their particular lives. Why is that important? Shortly thereafter, these same apostles are walking along the side of the road with Jesus in Acts chapter 1 when he ascends on high. Then they stay in the upper room for seven days, according to Acts chapter 1, till the event of what we know as Pentecost. So we've got saved believers who have not gone out and committed gross, heinous sins. They haven't been living worldly lives. They spent their entire existence of being saved in a prayer meeting. It's a pretty safe bet, right? Well, when you get to chapter 2, these same apostles, when Pentecost happens, guess what it says about them? And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Pentecost happens, 3,000 people get saved. Incredible. Persecution begins. They get out of jail. And guess what happens? It says, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And I think when you take a step back, this phrase being filled with the Holy Spirit, it's not so much that, okay, I got a quarter down payment. Now I'm up to half. I'm three quarters. Now I'm full. I think what you see is the early apostles trusting to be able to walk in their faith with Jesus no longer physically here. Now trusting to walk in their faith with the expansion of the visibleness of the church, walking in their faith, suffering persecution. Do you see these progressive steps in their life that they were now trusting the Lord to walk them through? And much like any kind of physical conditioning today, that your muscles or whatnot have to get accustomed to greater strength, greater weight, greater tension, as we walk through the difficult things in life, one of the things that we learn is, I trusted God through that. It makes us, quote, filled with the Holy Spirit, that we now are more sincere and more dedicated. When the day we get saved, we don't get, quote, the Holy Spirit in segments. But what we do is we begin the process of growing and bearing fruit which hopefully over time, the Bible would call being filled with the Holy Spirit. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.